Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. Yup, nub folks, and welcome to another episode of Power of the Force Fridays. We're looking at Wicket, the Ewok here. This one is a shout out to Ian Sweeney, 8406. Ian is a big supporter of Power of the Force Friday, so I do appreciate that big time. Um, and yeah, he, he requested uh, Ewoks, um, but this is the only one I have in the Power of the Force line. Um, I did do a little bit of research, and it doesn't seem there are many Ewoks in the Power of the Force, period. Um, now, I couldn't find too much information. I didn't look super hard. I sort of looked at a poster um, that has all the Power of the Force figures and Wicket, and I think there is a Glider and maybe Tebow. Um, and I, th I feel like I had another one, but apparently not. This is the only Ewok I hold in my Power of the Force 2 collection. And... Uh, I don't know, I still feel like this one could hold up in a in a display amongst modern Ewoks. Um, you know, pretty simple design. It's not not a bad one, but you know, you could fit him in the background and you probably wouldn't notice that it was wicked. So I'm trying to see whether there's a, a date stamp on this one. There it is on the back of the hood. 1998 LFL Kenner China. So there we go, 1998. So sort of getting towards the end of the Power of the Force. Sort of towards the Phantom Menace. Sort of getting in, getting into into that little niche pocket. And uh, yeah, by the time Phantom Menace rolled along, they sort of didn't really go any further with the, the uh, OT until 2001's Power of the Jedi line, which... You know, once Power of the Force Fridays, once I've exhausted that, I might go, might do Power of the Jedi. Who knows? I'll probably stick with Power of the Force. I've got plenty, plenty to do. So yeah, it was um, there was one, yeah, one with a glider. Um, so I do need to, I do need to research further. That was just, just a quick look. Um, but the beauty of having these figures out now is I can look at them look at exactly what I have and know know what I need to grab and talk about each week. So that's very handy. Um, again, with still, some of my Power of the Force figures are still scattered in with my uh, modern stuff. Um, and I do have to fish out a few of those for the next few weeks of uh, Power of the Force Fridays because I've had some more requests that I'd be more than happy to oblige. Um, no spoilers. I'm just going to I'm just gonna hang out. You can just hang out and wait each week. Just be patient. Power of the Force Patient Friday. <laughs> Patient Power of the Force Fridays. Uh, I do have the most recent Black Series Wicket the Ewok, which came out, it must have been last year, if not very early this year. You can kind of see how far they've come in terms of, you know, looks and detail and articulation, and, you know, obviously this one's at a bigger scale. But the, the vintage collection uh, Wicket that we do have Technically not TVC, it was part of that. Or was it? I think it was TVC. Um, if not, it was part of the subline, like the Shadows of the Dark Side, the Toys R Us pack. But I'm pretty sure there was a TVC wicket. You know what, in matter of fact, I'm positive. Because I think it got re-released last couple of years. But yeah, that, that one is still pretty damn good. Uh, in terms of, you know, quality and articulation and all that good stuff. Um, and they do, because they do have a few Ewoks out in the Black Series now, it means they can start, you know, repainting and reusing like they did back in the, like, legacy days, uh, sort of late 2000s, early 2010s. This, you know, they had, you know, two or three different molds um, and then just added different sort of the, the hoods and all that as different accessories and different paint schemes to differentiate them from one another. So it's cool to see two wickets together. I'm pretty sure this is this is the spear that it came with. I feel like I did open this one itself from from its packaging. I don't know. I think that's a pretty good likeness. What do you think? You know, for for 1998. I think that looks pretty damn good. 
still like the stitches all through the uh, hood there. I think that looks nice. It's done well. I assume it's removable, but I'm not going to because I feel like it's probably stuck glued down on the head. Oh no, it's removable. What do you mean naked? <laughs> so yeah, even more so, if you've got some spare Ewok heads, Ewok hats and dressings and stuff like that from some of those legacy, legacy sort of era 2010s Ewoks. Yeah, he looks a little bit strange without the headdress. But I'm glad I was able to get that off without too much trouble. It, it felt like it was stuck on. It's probably because it's never been removed. <laughs> I've just made the Ewok naked for the first time. Here's his little furry bum. Does have some peg holes on the bottom of his feet. It's a not a bad one. I'm glad, glad to be able to share Mr. Wicket W. Warwick with the masses. With all the tens of people that watch my videos. <laughs> no, I do appreciate every single one of you. It, it does, it means a lot. I do love talking about Power of the Force, as you will know, each week. I like to take um, requests as well for Power of the Force figures. So if there are any... Power of the Force figures you'd like to uh, you'd like to check out. That was just my message tone. So if there are any other Power of the Force two figures you'd like me to do do a little bit of a discussion on, a little bit of a review. You know, articulation is nothing to talk about here. It's five POA, but it still holds up. I think, in my personal opinion, I think it looks good. A mighty fine little figure. All right, folks. Thanks. For, thank you for watching another episode of Power of the Force Fridays on the Force with Jesse, which is me. <laughs> again, hope to hear, hope to hear from you in the comments. Please check it out again next week. Subscribe if you haven't. I do these every week. It's nice to be back doing them every week. And uh, until the next one. Yub nub and may the force be with you always.